Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a different video. Now, I know I usually host mod battles for, you know, I have different characters go up, go up against enemies and stuff. Um, I'm posting a few of them, at least one of them tonight. Uh, I'm working on getting my save back to where I was because for some reason my, uh, I, was, I was experimenting with a specific mod. Um... And it, uh, it got corrupted, so, yeah, all my saves went bye-bye, so I'm, I'm trying to catch up back to where I was. Um, I'm making pretty good progress, though. Just trying to balance it out of work, because I, I am a full-time landscaper, so I have my own little schedule to go by. But, anyways, going back to how to mod Kingdom Hearts 3. That's gonna be the topic of today's video. Um, I'm going over the complete way, so we're going to be going over Cheat Engine, Nexus Mods, stuff like that. So, Cheat Engine, first is you're going to be your first way of modding Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, all you're going to do is search up Cheat Engine. Now, obviously, this is only for PC, PS4, and Xbox. They have their own way to mod. Uh, I think it's only on PS4 at the moment. Um, you can't mod Xbox. But you can mod PC. There's a whole lot of mods for PC now. But this is one way you can mod Kingdom Hearts 3. So, go on Cheat Engine. Download from this link right here. I'm not going to download it because I already have it. Um, but this is the link. There is no virus, no nothing. I've downloaded this plenty of times before. And it's been fun. Now you're going to want to look up. Is KH3. And cheat KH3 Cheat Engine Epic Games and click on the first link. Now this will bring you to a forum where it contains a bunch of the CT files. Now obviously you want to go with the update three because this is most updated ones. But you can also go with this one. The KHV03, uh, I think is the one with the infinite form and um Infinite Hell, Speed Boosting for Gummy Ships, a bunch of stuff. And then this one is another one. You can combine cheat tables. It gives you the option when you load two cheat tables at once. Um, so obviously, it would go like this. So, Cheat Engine. This is the cheat engine right here. You would basically just click on the process up here. Kingdom Hearts would be like when it's open, you uh, just click on it. So let's see here. I will click on Kingdom Hearts 3. We'll get it running so I can show you guys just exactly how to do this. So now that it's running, click on it. And now, see, now it's down here. Click open. And now it's attached to uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, this is my file. These are my files right here. Uh, the various ones. Kingdom Hearts Complete is just a... It's a custom one that I made. Of uh, just both of these combined. But, how to do... How to combine cheat tables is you click on one. And as you see down here, they're all different cheats. And you open the other one. And it says, do you wish to merge the current table with this table? Just click yes. And I already merged it, so obviously I have double of everything now. So, um, but for people who did not previously merge it, you will have more cheats. And then you just click, click save, and then you, like, override it. Save as, right here. And then you can just name it to... The fifth. And then every time, anytime you want to open it back up, you just click on that. Alright, now to show you how it works, I will go into Kingdom Hearts, and I will show you just exactly how it works. This is where I am with my saves, all my other saves got corrupted. <laughs> Alright, so, we'll go, go to the main story. I am right now. Look how high up 
Shut up, Sora. All right. So open this up, and now we can go to infinite form. Just click on it, and it should be all. It should be crossed out. The box should be crossed out when it's active, and now. I can go into any form I want. Let's go to. I'll wait till this is open. Let's see. We'll go. Hey, like my keyblade, guys. Pretty cool. I'll go into ultimate form. And as you see, it's not going down at all. The only way to actually cancel the form is to use the finisher. And that's it. And you're out of form. This does work with any form. It even works with rage form. Oh, that looks sick. Wow, I'd never noticed that before. It turns the keyblade. Oh, that looks, that looks oh. All right. Let's see, yeah, I could just literally do like a full playthrough on this if I wanted to. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's how you work cheat tables now let's go on to the next part of modding which is going to be well what i like to call nexus mods obviously you go to nexus mods website you will need to create a web uh an account i already have an account but you'll need to create an account to download mods but all you're going to want to do is click the drop down box press games Kingdom Hearts, search, and obviously this is Kingdom Hearts 3 right here. Now these are all the different mods. There's a bunch of, okay, there is a bunch of different stuff, a bunch of different mods, obviously. So, what I'm going to do for you guys is, let's see, let's go over a basic mod. So, we'll search for playable Roxas, because that was one that, was, that I do a lot. So, you would literally just click on it, click manual over here, slow download, it'll download it. I already have it, but this applies really to any mod. Any mod will just, you know, slow download because you need a premium account. It doesn't really make a difference at all. Um, and then you would just obviously, you know, download it. Go to downloads. And now to get to this folder, you're going to need to go to games. KH3 is usually always in, uh, in wherever you downloaded Kingdom Hearts 3 to. Um, I don't know where you guys download it to. Me, personally, I downloaded it to games. Now, it's not in your documents. That contains all your saves and everything. You know, that's not where you find this folder. You go to where you downloaded it. Mine would be KH3. You're looking for the KH underscore 3 folder. Once you find that, you want to click on that. You want to click on Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh content and then you see packs right here that's what we're looking for so i already have some mods on in, uh installed i see and then obv uh okay p swap so all you're gonna want to do is i'll go to my downloads i have all my cage 3 mods in a folder so this is the roxas playable mod move that to the packs folder i have it Equipped to my, to my uh, quick access so I can easily get to it. So we'll do that. Roxas P. And then we will just simply launch, launch Kingdom Hearts 3. And that's literally all you need to do to get the mod. Literally just copy it. Now keep in mind. Some mods do interfere with others. I have not met any that interfere with uh, any like other mods so far. Um, usually it says it on the website, and if not, you'll find out because the mod won't work right when you launch it, or it might crash the game. Um, but I have met no instance of any mod, 
like breaking the whole entire game. So obviously the Roxas mod only works uh, with base Sora. So base KH3 Sora it does not work with Toy Sora or Pirate Sora. It only works with KH3 base Sora. So I'm going to go into Olympus here. And you will see when we load in. That now I look like Roxas. I do not have the voice lines for Roxas because that is a separate mod. Um, but that that's literally all there is to it with modding. Um, nothing really else to it. If you guys do have any more questions uh, about anything at all, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And this has been KH3 Modding uh, on a how-to video. It's <laughs> never something I usually done before. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next mod battle, which will hopefully be coming out very soon. Peace.